let me tell you something. I want you to think about something, right? Like, think about Floyd Mayweather. He got all this money. You done brought your daughter around. You done brought all your kids around. You done seen your lifestyle. You done presented what a real man posed to present them in life. And they gonna choose a scroll of like NBA young boy. And then when they get old enough, you just let them go cause you letting them find their own way. And really and truly they don't know cause really you spent your whole life on the road. You been fighting. You ain't really had no real time to train and raise your daughter the right way. Cause you been training your life. You trying to fight for the bag. You getting your money. You giving her the best life she never had. But really and truly, she needed a father figure. But we ain't gonna even blame you because I'm finna get at this little nigga. And see, the reason I'm stepping in on this as the whistleblower and as Uncle Nino, because I just called Floyd to talk about this situation and he ain't picking up his phone. I got a problem with it because, see, I'm gonna tell you something, right? I got daughters. I got three daughters, and I'm sitting here thinking about it, right? Like, if a nigga tried me, it's okay. If I done raised my daughter the right way, and she want to go get with an NBA young boy, or uh, somebody who got herpes and the bump mushroom tip or something like that, then she can have him because she grown. That's her decision. But the minute this nigga get on the video and say, yo, bitch ass daddy. Fuck your bitch ass daddy. I ain't never did. I don't want no. And she sit there and accept that. And she sit next to this nigga. And I don't want to change your diaper. I don't want to took the bottle out your mouth. I don't want to put the pacifier in your mouth. I don't got that there. Pay for everything you got there. You the new G Wagon. And you act like you don't know me next to this scrub ass nigga. The first thing I'm going to go do. I'm going to go over there and holler at that young nigga first. I'm going to go holler at him first because he disrespected my name. He got to see me off the ripper. I got to talk. We got something to talk about, little player. We got to, because listen, you can take respect her all day. She grown. But when you put my name in it, you messing with my legacy. And see, I'm undefeated in the rank. I got all the money. You heard what man was just saying in the video? He got all the money in the world. Your money can't save you like this. And this got to hurt because your daughter just was arrested on some dumb shit. She out there trying to stab the man, baby, and mama. Man, little mama, listen, man, you got to grow up. That man don't want you. That man playing with you. He don't care nothing about you. He wouldn't have had you in that situation. He got you on his sideline for purposes of, man, I got Mayweather daughter. He trying. He don't care nothing about you, little mama. You look like you drugged up. You look like you coked out. I just say in the video. And it pissed me off. Because I got three daughters, and if I ever came home and found out that they were messing with one of these knucklehead nigga, why, why, with their pants hanging off their ass, showing they boxes, this is, this is homo shit, man. If you walk around with your pants like that, that's homo shit. That shit we did in jail because we ain't had no belt. That's not gangster, cuz. Pull your damn pants, pull my pants up. Listen, man, Mayweather, it's time for you to step in. Put your money down, bro. Step in as a father and holler at your daughter. Look, little mama, little yaya, you can't mess with him no more. I don't care. Listen, if you go back around him, don't even claim me as your daddy. Change your last name because you ain't no kin to me because this ain't what I taught you. You got to step in as a father. I'm going to tell you, where little Britain at? Little Britain, Brit, what up? Mom, me sit Britain down here. I'm going to tell you something right now. Any one of my daughters get out of line and choose a man over me after I change their diapers and after I done got them raised them, God damn it, we got a motherfucking problem. Come to tell you right now, I'm going to disown you for the rest of your, you can't even mess with me no more. I train all mine. I potty train them. I watch them walk, teach them how to ride a bicycle and all that. If you choose this nigga over me, keep your ass over there. Don't call me about no money. I ain't doing nothing for you. I don't care if you go broke, homeless or whatever. Don't call me for no car, no. Call that nigga, ain't this fuck your daddy? And you stood right there and let that nigga say that fuck ass shit? You supposed to slap that nigga in their face, little mama. Type it. What type of woman you here, Floyd? You gotta step in like a real man and blow the whistle, bro. You having a tough year this year. You just lost the mother of your kids two weeks ago. Last week, you just lost Uncle Roger Mayweather. Your daughter out here acting. God got some kind of calling on you, bro. God ain't happy with you. It ain't about your money. I believe God mad at you because you worshiping your money then more than you worshiping him. You need to go to God, Floyd. 
Floyd, you need to go to God. God ain't happy with you. God taking away your people from you. Ain't the man just killed himself on the phone with you because you were messing with it, Floyd? Man, listen, God got a problem with you, Floyd. And your money can't save you, boy. You need to go holler at, you need to go talk to the Father. You better go call TDJ, call somebody, and get up in somebody's church because it ain't about your money right now, bro. God trying to, God, the devil working on you, boy. Trump, 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 not your daughter. Boy, that got to hurt. Look, NBA young boy ain't that the one got the bunk dick, the mushroom took got all the herpes on it, and she still want to sit on that shit? Floyd, you better go holler at God. They're bigger than you, Cleetie. They're bigger than you. We the business.